Okay, so there's a lot of swords in this read, uh, so it looks like you're facing some kind of legal decision at this particular moment. And you've got the Four of Cups over here, um, so, you know, uh, you're dealing with a very toxic situation over here. You've got this huge snake over here. So maybe the person that you're dealing with, um, you know, uh, has caused a lot of drama and problems in your life here. You've got Pluto here in, in Scorpio. So this is an ending of this particular difficult situation. So whoever this person is, um, you know, with, um, you know, there's been a, maybe there's been a lot of spiteful behavior, a lot of nasty behavior. And you've got Pluto over there that's showing that, you know, that particular situation energy is now coming to an end. So it looks like, you know, um, whatever you have been dealing with or whomever you've been dealing with, um, because it's the serpent card who has been very, very nasty, very manipulative. Um, and, uh, you know, but with Pluto there, it looks like that situation might be coming to an end or you're trying to end that situation with them. And you're trying to end it in a legal way because you've got the two of swords over here. So this is about, uh, you know, trying to bring an ending to this difficult situation. You can see there's a big wolf right there in the beginning, and it's lupus. Lupus is about the wolf. Um, so um, you are uh, worried. This person has been very deceptive uh, and very, very much a bully, and you are trying to end the situation. You're trying to get that balance back again, but you're also trying to end it legally. So there's some kind of legal decision that is pending, or it's, um, you know, you've taking, uh, taken it to the courts. You are fighting this uh, from a legal stance point. Now, you've got the Four of Pentacles over here. So this is uh, Venus in, in Taurus. It looks like whatever the outcome of this particular legal situation, there might be some kind of payoff that comes over here because, you know, Taurus rules your money, money coming in for you. Venus is also about money. So uh, it looks like there might be a positive outcome financially for you uh, from this particular situation, whatever le the legal matter is. Is. Now, in the past, you've got that Seven of Swords. This person was quite dis lying, quite quite deceptive as well. You've got um, the, um, Mercury sitting in Gemini. So whatever they said, oh, you know, uh, revolved around lies, deception, deceit. Uh, there might have been theft and loss that is associated with the Seven of Swords. So um, it's also, you know, you've been... Um, you know, they've been manipulative as well. So uh, there's also been some legal dealings as well because of, of uh, the cards being a sword card so maybe they lied to you and this is the reason why you've got uh, the authorities sort of intervening in this particular situation and that queen of swords as well it's all about legalities and waiting for things to happen and making decisions uh, based on uh, legal um, intervention so it looks like you know everything has been about legalities working with the legal system there's been sudden things that happened um, you've got that um, Uranus sitting there in Aquarius so big changes happening all of a sudden and these were devastating changes and this is the reason why you have brought in uh, the legal um, um, legal intervention or you've been seeking legal advice and making decisions based on that getting in some legal counseling as well. So you have been dealing with a very, very difficult situation. Now, that it looks like uh, there's a judgment pending with that King of Swords over there. Uh, so uh, there will be a legal outcome to this particular case. So you'll have taken this thing to court. This looks like a judgment that is going to be made soon for you. And you've got that Three of Swords over here. So, uh, you know, it's been a very, very difficult situation. The Three of Swords is really about heartbreak, but it's also um, the decision being passed. Now, it might not go completely in your favor. With the Three of Swords is being a bit miserable and a bit upset about what the outcome is going to be. So, all the, you know, maybe this person is very, very manipulative with that Seven of Swords, and they're getting, you know, um, away with it because of the lies and deception that is going about. But there is a legal settlement over here that comes through, and it looks like finance is coming in. You are very, very upset about what has happened, very, very heartbroken. So this might be a divorce situation that you're dealing with. It seems like you've been through a lot of loss as well from whatever this case is. But it looks like, you know, there is going to be some kind of financial settlement that comes through from this case. So dealing with a lot of legal matters at this particular moment, almost all the cards have got to do with dealing with uh, legalities and trying to sort out a difficult situation and dealing with a difficult person. So I'm going to just draw some cards from the um, tarot of the um, spirit world and let's see what's going on there. Okay, there, the first card is the justice card. So you are waiting for de a decision to come through or you're waiting for a judgment to come through. And that is about 
that is pending at this particular moment. So whatever this case is, you have taken it to court and you are waiting for a decision to be made. This is all to do with the courts and it's all to do with legalities. And it's a big issue. Maybe this case has now come up and now you're going to be going to court. Now you've got the Six of Swords over here. So this is moving away from any kind of difficult situation and having to sever ties uh, with that person or with whatever's going on. Now this is the world card that follows uh, this Six of Swords. So it looks like there is going to be a victory on your side. The world card is absolute achievement. Uh, and, you know, you've learned a lot of difficult lessons, but you're also moving away. So whatever the outcome for the case is, you are going to be victorious in it because you've got the Six of Swords moving away from difficult situations. It looks like the universe is intervening and it looks like you are going to be the one that's going to be the winner or you, you know, you're going to be successful in it. But you're going to have to let go of all of that and move on. Uh, so it looks like, um, you know, it's, there's a victory on your side and you will be able to move away from it. But it is, um, you know, that, that case is pending. And once you, once that judgment is passed, it looks like it's going to be in your favor. There is achievement on your side. There is victory on your side. So you've got that four of swords over here. So you're very, very upset about what is going on. It's taken its toll on your health. You might be experiencing some kind of, uh, you know, uh, health concerns, you know, like, ulcers or not sleeping at night or it's been having its effect on your health you've got that four of swords being feeling very ill feeling uh you know almost very disempowered as well and need to to get out of that situation because it's so stressful you've got the queen of wands and this is your card uh so you know maybe you've not been able to speak about it you've got this woman with this uh, something blocking her mouth over there so you want to tell people what is going on and you haven't being able to. You're taking your control and your power back, uh, but it looks like, you know, this particular situation has almost prevented you from even speaking about it uh, because, you know, maybe um, nobody's listening to whatever you've got to say as well. So, you know, you are trying to get your power back. You're trying to get your, uh, your authority back. You're trying to take control of that situation again. Uh, but, you know, it's been, um, it's not allowed you to communicate how you're feeling as well. Maybe there's nobody to speak to about what is going on. You don't have anybody to actually turn to. Um, you've got the Eight of Cups over here. So what you want to do is just leave that situation and move away from it. So the Eight of Cups is, you know, um, walking away from uh, what is the old, letting it, um, you know, move on, uh, moving away from whatever has been troubling you and going on, starting a new journey, starting a new um, um root starting a new pathway in life so that's what you want you want everything to just end you want it to be finished and done with and you want to move on now you're still having problems with this person and they have obviously you can see this woman is very naked over here so this person has been very very manipulative and they've, there's been a lot of problems it's been a very very negative situation there's been a lot of fighting and arguing that has been going on and they have attacked your confidence as well because this woman is stripped naked over here and she's still held hostage so you can see that whatever words this person has been um, you know, throwing in your direction has been awful uh, because it's it's been uh, something that's controlled you. It's worked on your self-confidence and it's brought you down to your knees and it's made you feel very, very disempowered as well. And it's still ongoing. It seems like that kind of energy is still going on. Now you're getting your strength back. Uh, this is the strength card. This is trying to conquer things and this is winning. So you are coming up. You are speaking, your, this, whatever legal situation you're dealing with now is going to give you, uh, re-empower you again. So whatever you're dealing with, whoever this person is you that you're dealing with, you've got the sword back in your hand over here. So you're using that legal system to try and get back your power and it's going to help you conquer this situation. So you will be a winner in it. Um, you know, you will get back your confidence again and it will look, it looks like it's going to go in your favor as well. Now you've got that two of cups over here. So maybe they've made an offer to you as well, but it is, um, you know, um, it's almost like a double edged sword, if you like. They've been offering you, uh, you know, they've been give, telling you things that you want to hear, but there's a uh, hidden agenda over there. And, you know, they're still very, very nasty. So they've got a grudge against you, it seems. So whatever offer they're making to you is something that, you know, you really shouldn't uh, accept because this particular offer that they're making, uh, you know, they've got something else on their mind. Uh, so this is not a good offer that comes in with this Two of Cups. So even though, uh, you know, they've been... Uh, been very much in control of you and they've been offering you what, you know, telling you that they're going to be very emotionally supportive or some kind of offer that they've made, but there's a sword pointing at you. So 
or a knife or a dagger pointing at you. So it is not an uh, offer that you really should consider because it's not in your best interests. In fact, it will be very detrimental if you accept and go back to this person and accept the offer. You've got the star card over here. So there's some kind of divine intervention that is coming in for you. So trust. Let go of all those negative feelings that you have and have faith. Uh, trust in, in whatever messages that are coming to you. So you might be getting dreams and visions. There might be somebody there that's offering you guidance and assistance, and you need to listen to them. You need to follow somebody that is uh, looking out for your interests, because whoever's making this offers, offer to you, it's not a really nice offer at all. And, you know, they could end up stabbing you in the back uh, or, you know, making things even worse than what they already are. So... Um, even I think even if they offer you an apology, this is not something that you should really consider. Because I don't think it really is, uh, I don't think they really mean it. It's not a genuine thing. So just be careful. Be very careful. Watch your back. So coming uh, into the future, you've got the Ace of Cups over here, uh, the Nine of Wands, and you've got the King of Wands. So with the Ace of Cups over here, um, maybe leaving that behind and going down a new pathway so you might have to let go of whatever this person has been offering you and find yourself a new cup find yourself something else to do somebody else to focus your attentions on and you know even if you have to go it alone it might be worth that because it doesn't seem like this relationship is worth pursuing at all you might have to leave everything behind and move forward you've got that nine of wands over here so if you accept an offer from this person, it looks like there's going to be even more problems. This person is still standing over there in the background and causing, stirring up a lot of problems for you. And you're still having to deal with all the drama that they've caused. Uh, with the Nine of uh, Wands is being very defensive uh, in a particular situation. So it's very important for you to keep up your guard, uh, watch your back, uh, be prepared for the next battle. And, uh, you know, don't let, uh, don't um, let them uh, pull the wool over your eyes again, because it looks like, you know, if you get back into a situation with them, it'll be even worse than what it was before, because there's so much fire in this card. So there's a lot of drama. So, you know, if they make an offer to you with this two of cups, um, you know, it's worth, um, it's, you know, it's not worth even considering because it looks like if you get back into them, you get back into that devil kind of energy where they're very controlling, very manipulative, but they cause a lot of drama and a lot of problems. And that's all you're going to be doing, standing back there and fighting th through all these problems and not having any rest at all. So, you know, with the nine of uh, wands, it's about being defensive and, you know, being very tired as well after going through so much of battles, but uh, having to rely on your own strength and trust your own instincts, really. Um, and know that, you know, whatever offer they're making to you is not genuine, even if it's an apology. Then you've got the King of Wands, and this is coming into your own power again. So if you do that, stand your defense, uh, stand up for yourself, defend yourself, uh, you will get your power coming back. And, you know, uh, you are taking back that control again, getting back into your, um, your leadership qualities as an Aries. So it's important for you to just really uh, reconsider if there's any options coming in. There's still a lot of drama that you're facing with that five of wands. There's a lot of arguments that you're going on. Um, you know, be very, very cautious about taking any offers. If it's a legal situation you're dealing with, it looks like you are going to win. You do have the strength. And if you're feeling ill, you, even with the strength card, there's a lot of recovery. With the world card, you know, it's victory in that particular situation. And you are going to be moving on with that six of um, wands. So whatever problem six of swords are, are sorry. So whatever problems you've been facing, you are going to be victorious. But don't go back, don't fall back into the same cycle because you know it looks like um, the, this person has hasn't got your best interest in, at heart, and they might be holding a little bit of a grudge as well. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the um, animal tarot. And the first one is the Eight of Summer. You feel like there's more to life than what you've been living, so it's time to move on. You may be moving on from a situation that isn't good for you, and perhaps you are being drawn to what would make you happy. Either way, you are in control. So there is a need for you to move on, walk away from the situation, and you are being drawn to move away, so you know what you have to do. And this situation is not good for you. Then you've got the Queen of Autumn over here. It says you are you will be given advice that is both practical and creative, and it should be followed precisely. And it should be followed precisely. Focus upon only the positive in every situation. So there's somebody around you that's going to be there to give you a help, um, some kind of advice. It could be an Earth sign person. You've got that Queen of Autumn over here. It could be a mother figure. Um, 
and they are giving you good advice, so take it. And then you've got the lovers, you've got that choice that you have to make. True and long-lasting love finds its way into your life. Follow your heart with caring actions and choices. So there is some kind of choice for transformation. You can see there's a big butterfly over there. So there's a decision that you have to make. This Queen of Autumn person uh, is an earth sign person that's going to give you advice in order to for you to make that choice. So listen to that advice very carefully. But it seems like it is time for you to move on from the situation. There's going to be a legal closure that comes in from this case. You are going to be a winner from it. You are going to be able to overcome it. But don't fall back into the same rut again and don't fall back into the same situation because it seems like if you if you do that it's going to be worse uh you know whatever comes around the second time is not going to be something that you may be able to handle so it's it's time for you to cut your losses now and move on so i hope this reading has resonated with you and please don't forget to like share subscribe leave me some comments if this has resonated thank you so much for watching take care now goodbye